Alright, hey guys, it's Clark, Doghouse Systems, and I'm kind of going to narrate the first uh, kind of chop together 10 minutes of SWOTOR, my experiences, and I'll keep doing some videos like this. Think of it as like a video in review. So this is the server selection screen. I like a lot of what they did here, showing not only population density, but estimated queue times, should you want to join your buddies in a busy server. That's a nice touch. And of course, I hop on uh, Keller's Void because I want to roll with AIE guys. So... I choose that shortly, here, there we go, and you immediately are greeted with selecting which faction you want to be. I like kind of the seamless transitions from one thing to another, the progression feels very natural as opposed to kind of forced and clunky. I initially start with Republic, but we'll talk about that at the end. After choosing your faction, you're greeted with a brilliant, and, and I genuinely mean that brilliant cinematic sequence. I, I don't show all of it here, I cut some of it out because I want it to be a surprise for you when you record, or uh, sorry, when you play the game. But uh, Bioware needs to put their CG folks into making a full-length movie because I would completely and totally watch it. The, the uh, quality of the animation and the action sequences are phenomenal, both for the Republic and the Empire. So we fade here shortly, and here we are selecting your class. Um, and oh, inevitably, there's gonna be a lot of WoW comparisons here because that's of all of my MMO experience. I have I've played WoW since launch, although there were breaks in there. But uh, I always played WoW as a healer or a tank, so predominantly a healer. And I'm kind of gonna the rogue-ish type classes, Jedi Shadow and Imperial Operative appeal to me, but uh, we'll talk more about that later. So, class selection, you can see, you, as, as you click through, again, I like, I like what they did here with, you can pull down what the advanced classes are and get a good look at them, and just having the class roles clearly defined, heals, damage, tank is uh, nice. If you're new to MMOs, and there may be very well be some people that did never played WoW, but Star Wars interests them, uh, that will kind of help you set you on the right path. And then once you choose your class, you get to choose your race. Again, there's uh, five races for each faction, and uh, there are various differences and advantages, disadvantages, etc. I end up going with uh, these guys here. Let's choose a dude. Oh, yeah. Now, lots of customization options. Again, it's a more advanced game than WoW, so I'd expect to have more than what World of Warcraft has. Uh, the body type differences is nice. Uh, there's only about five models per sex, so don't expect uh, excessive amount of detail there, but again, it allows a little bit more individual customization. I like how the robes flutter as I change things. I didn't really notice that bug as I was doing it, but when watching the video, it popped out to me. You can come in and change scars and tattoos and all that good stuff. Things you would expect through a well-developed Bioware level character customization setup. Uh, now shortly, I end up going with uh, what I call the Justin Bieber look. We're going to have it here in just a moment. Because who wants to be a Bieber? Yeah, Bieber Jedi, what's up? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, I don't play as Justin Bieber Jedi. Here's my dude. Uh, Consular, eventually Jedi Shadow. He looks pretty awesome. So once you click play, you're going to be, uh, there's going to be a load screen. And mind you, I'm playing this on a Mobius, a Doghouse Systems Mobius TL, and as I record these videos, I'm dumping a 1920 by 1080 video files simultaneously via Fraps. So I've had no gameplay performance issues. My frame rates have been consistently in the 70s and higher. Um, even and when I dump the video that drops a little bit, but I'm very happy with the game's optimization and its performance. So hey look, the standard star I was I started giggling when I saw that, but it takes forever, so this is five hundred percent faster and you can still see how slow this goes. So um Yay, it is classic Star Wars and I enjoy these throwbacks to the movies we all know and love. Well, episodes four through six anyway. So after that, and the background on your dude you are greeted to a kind of CG-ish introduction uh, for your character and his arrival into the starting area. This level of immersion in what you'll see with the questing later, I really enjoyed because it forces uh, a slowdown of the progression in the sense that with kind of built-in quest helper in World of Warcraft, I just feel like I'm blowing through things. I don't want to read that. And I originally I thought that the voice acting in this would annoy me, like, I just want to get through the quest, M must quest, must quest, but actually I'm really enjoying the slower pace and the genuine deep immersion in this game that I'm getting because of the fact that I, quote, have, I mean, forced to watch these cutscenes. Here's some uh, young Padawans learning how to float rocks, because that's what you do. And my guy's coming on the shuttle because, you know, 
he's cool like that. So anyway, enough harping. If you hear some noise in the background, my dog is very interested. I mean, doghouse systems, we all, we all love our German Shepherds, right? Yeah, hey, buddy. So uh, anyway, here I am, like a boss. It's my, it's my dude with his little, you know, vibro staff thing. And I apologize. I, I like the movies, but I'm not a huge lore guy. So if I make vernacular errors in the describing of something in the Star Wars universe, fanboys, I'm totally open for polite educating, but don't hate on me. Alright, I roll on in. I cut a little bit out here ah, because I don't want one. to just show you guys everything. I am but, uh, Bacar, the Jedi Council. here's an example. I'll kind of Welcome shut up for a minute. This is the ancestral home of our order, where the Jedi first came to be, and where our most promising Padawans complete their training. You have the same, uh, speech style that you're familiar with, with previous Bioware games, and I am not minding that at all. You can choose your responses. The interesting, the interesting thing is, you can be uh, Republic or Imperial, but in there you can also kind of have light side and dark side choices. So you, I was kind of playing this dude like a like a jerk Jedi, basically. Uh, later on, I have to like, save some paddle ones, and I don't capture the video there, but uh, instead of sending them back to safety, I'm like, Let's go kill everyone that like put you guys in danger, bunch of losers. And you know, I got kind of dark side points, and those points later will determine what sort of gear you can wear, whether you're good or bad. So here's some more conversation stuff. Oh yeah, come to me, bro. Yeah, what's up? I'm, I'm a Jedi, and kind of. So anyway, more conversation stuff, and this deal ultimately sends me on a quest to go save those Padawans I just mentioned. And finally, may the Force be with you. Oh yes. Hey. I'm running around, control my guy, here we go. Map, alright, I'm gonna go do these things, sure. Built-in quest helper, so to speak. Uh, I like the interface, it's clean. The game looks beautiful, I'd forgotten. Seeing this does remind me that WoW is old. I did some combat and it felt so broken and then I realized I hadn't, <laughs> the keys weren't customized the way I'm used to with WoW, so I went through and did, you know, WASD for my movement, straight from left and le left and right with A and D, and then uh, QERFCXZ for my first several hotkeys, and then one, two, three, four, five for the next ones. It's how I've always played WoW. It just it's intuitive to me. So a little bit of combat. I get some cooler moves later on. But uh, I like little things. Kind of like the numbers for damage and experience don't just float in this fixed vertical range. You'll notice that they. Uh, kind of drift off to the sides a little bit and as you move it just small stylistic touches like that really appeal to me There's lots of little things in this game that I'm enjoying Which combined with the overall experience right now. I'm stoked and I gotta say force throwing objects at people has not gotten old yet uh, Gear let's talk gear for a minute here. I really like something they did here and th there might be a wow mod that does this I don't know what it if you mouse over an item and I zoom in here you can see what the gains are immediately uh, and I really like that. It, it makes gear identification and, and equipping uh, easier, more convenient, I guess is the best way to describe it. Just, again, another little touch that really, really has appealed to me. Well, we're almost done. A couple little things. So here's another example of the map. Now, check this out. When I realized this, I was like, well played, Bioware. If you're moving and you pull up the map, it becomes transparent. So you can see what you're doing, but still kind of see what's going on the map. I love that little touch. Here you go, some more ponage. Bam. Now, like I said, this is my Jedi Shadow. And I didn't want to just choose one class and put a ton of time into it. I want to play around a little bit, partially because the openings for the classes are so excellent. So after playing with this guy, and I got him up to like level 5 or 6, just let I swapped. Me know what's required. Why? I'm here to help. Listen to this. Just let me know what's required. I'm here to help. The dude was a total tool, and I just couldn't deal with it. Such a tool. So now I'm an Imperial agent operative, and just her character arc has been awesome, and I'm loving it, and Imperial all the way. Imperial for the win. All right, there'll be more of these. Thanks, guys. Bye. Just let me know what's required. I'm here to help. 